as we have already discussed about the basic functions and features of eagrp in our last video in this video we are going to see how to configure eagrp for a network so this is a simple scenario which consists of some uh, five routers and i have already configured the ip address for all the mentioned interfaces for example uh, this is 10.10.0.0/30 network so this side i have configured 10.10.0.1 and this side i have configured 10 10 0.2 as like the same this like this this side 20 20 0.1 and 20 20 0.2 so we are going to configure eagrp in the below scenario so before that we need to know the syntax of the eagrp configurations so so this is the syntax for configuring eagrp first of all need to uh, get into the router in configuration mode then it, it is router EAGRP, then to specify an autonomous system number. This autonomous system number should be the same for all the routers in the network. And once it's done, then EAGRP is enabled in the network. Then we need to advertise all the directly connected network to the routers by using the word network. And at last, if needs, we can specify no auto summary uh, because by default, EAGRP will be doing summarization. So this is the syntax need to know before configuring EAGRP. So uh, in this route, I'm going to configure EAGRP. So before configuring EAGRP, I'll show that I have a configured IP address in all the interfaces. For that, show IP interface brief. So if you see, I have already configured the IP address in all the interfaces. Okay. So IP root. This is used to know the uh, to see the routing table. For example, uh, each router will learn the directly connected networks. We no need to specify uh, routing information for the directly connected network because each router will learn the directly connected networks automatically. So these are these are the directly connected networks it have learned already. And at the same time, this router have not learn this uh, networks belongs to this router because all these are indirectly connected networks for this router so first i need to configure eagrp that is router eigrp i need to specify an atomic system number so i'm going to use 100 i need to advertise all the directly connected networks so network 10.10.0.0 if need i can specify wildcard mask or i'll simply go ahead with the address because I am going to use no auto summary 20.20.0.0 network 30.30.0.0 and network 100.100.0.0 no auto summary So select like the same, need to configure EGRP, router, EIG, RP, as I have mentioned autonomous system number as 100 there, I am using the same here too. So then network, need to specify directly connected networks, here there are two network directly connected 10, 10, 0, 0, and Network 40.40.0.0. I have already configured EAGRP in this router and this router. So here too. Now in this router, I am going to configure EAGRP. So the syntax is need to specify router EAGRP, the autonomous system number 100, the network, the directly connected networks are 20.20.0.0. As I have already configured EAGRP in this side and advertised to this network in this side, when I am uh, enabling EAGRP in this router, it's getting learned. So that's the reason it's getting network. 50.50.0.0 So 
as we have enabled the EHRP in this both router already, now the entire network is enabled with EHRP. Now if we check this router, have learned this network, though it's indirectly connected, show IP route. If you see, from this router, now it has learned all the networks, even this 200-200-00 network by using EAGRP. In general, EAGRP consists of three tables, that is neighbor table, topology table and routing table. So neighbor table is nothing but uh, it contains all the information about the directly connected neighbors. The command for this is so IP EAGRP neighbors. If you see in this, it consists of all the name directly connected neighbors. For example, 3030.2 is connected through serial interface of 1 slash 2. That is serial interface of 1 slash 3 is this. And the neighbor is this router. 3030.2 uh, is this interface. It's like the same. 1010.2 is this router. And 1010.2 is this interface. It's connected through serial interface 1 bar 2. As like the same, 20, 20 0.2 is this router. It's connected through this interface. So uh, we'll uh, see these terms in detail in next videos. And now we'll discuss about the basic functions. So the next table is show IP EAGRP topology. It maintains all the possible paths for the destination networks. For example, the entire topology would be learned by all the router. For example, from this router to reach this network, it learned all the possible paths. That is, from this router, you can reach this router in three paths. That is, either you can go through this router and come reach this, either you can reach through this router, or else you can reach through this router. So that's it. For reaching 200, 200, 0.0 slash 24, we are having three successes. Successor is best path successor and it can be done through three paths 3030.0.2 that's nothing but this and 1010.0.2 it's nothing but this and 2020.0.2 is nothing but this and as like the same show IP root EIGRP this is to know the routing table learned by EIGRP routing protocol so here also if you see from this router, uh, actually this routing table should show only the best path for each destination. So from this router to reach this router, we are having three best path. Actually best path in the sense it should, there should be only one best path among these three. As we have not specified any delay or bandwidth for these interfaces, uh, all, all, the, all of them remains default. So we are having three best path to reach this destination. Actually, uh, the cost, the metrics used for this uh, EHRP is bandwidth and delay. If we configure the bandwidth and delay for each interfaces, then we may get only one best path from this source. Uh, as we have not specified any bandwidth or delay now, it's showing three path. As like the same, for example, uh, from this interface, if you want to reach this, that is 5050 uh, 0 slash 2. That's it, 5050 0 slash 2. It can be done only through this thing, the same thing, right? So, um, okay, took summarization. So this, this, or this is the three types of tables available in EAGRP. That is, neighbor table, topology table, and routing table. So in this uh, video, we have simply discussed about these three tables and how to configure EAGRP. In coming videos, we'll discuss about EAGRP in depth about each table and functions as like uh, how to configure bandwidth and delay, how to change the metrics and uh, how to do load balancing and uh, what is FD in AD and all. So thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.